So last week at worship, we talked about how God creates important holy moments through even what appears to be very uncomfortable. I gave you examples of that in my sermon as I wanted to tell you how it happened for us at General Council a couple weeks ago. So we dived into how listening is more important than anything else when people say that we neglected or we've heard them. And you came to me after the service and all week asking good questions. And some even felt called to a private conversation with me about personal and collective relationships and forgiveness. That's really good. My only regret is that I forgot to invite you all to go watch some of the general counsel testimonials that were recorded um, to make sure that these are not forgotten and we keep them in our collective consideration keeps us on the right track, right? So if you click here, you'll be directed to that portion of general counsel live stream. Remember, it's uncomfortable, but it's worth it. God is broadening our understanding. So to see that live stream, please click here. Now this week in scripture, Jesus is telling us, I'm the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. And whoever believes in me will never, will never be thirsty. What does it mean that Jesus says that? When, for instance, the Ontario government is taking more and more money away from those in real need to satisfy a thirst for cheaper beer that doesn't even exist, I've been wondering. And I don't want all the media noise to be about buck a beer and distract us from what I will probably dare to call buck a bread. I'm the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Come to worship on Sunday at 10 a.m., and we'll contemplate that one together. I'm looking forward to seeing you.